take over as president with who he met with behind Trump's back. It has been a long-standing tradition that the former and current president of the United States work together for their love of country. Both men put aside their differences in order to focus on what is good for the American people and our future. However, that is not the case when it comes to Barack Obama's lack of respect for President Trump, but is anyone really surprised? Obama is obviously angry still that he is not the president anymore and that he no longer holds the power that he once did. Ever since Trump assumed office, Obama has been obsessing over ways to take Trump down, and even went as far as to set up a shadow government just mere miles away from the White House. If that was not bad enough it appears that Obama has now devised a plan to get back into the White House that is terrifying. Over the past several months, Obama has been doing all that he can to undermine President Trump's administration. Whether it was the time that Obama followed Trump overseas during his first trip as president or the G20 summit meeting in Germany. Then Obama also urged members of the Senate not to repeal Obamacare without Trump knowing it. Oh, but let us not forget the time that Obama praised the Paris Climate Agreement even after President Trump announced earlier this year he is withdrawing the U.S. from the pact. Now. It appears that Obama really stepped over the line when by holding secret meetings with world leaders which happened to be a federal crime. Here is more you conservative. During one of his speeches, Obama tried to convince those present that President Trump doesn't have America's best interest at heart, adding that world leaders to support him until he could bring Democrats back in place. Holding such secret meeting means the Obama is guilty of federal crimes. First. He is effectively asking world leaders to represent the American agenda. Then, he is asking these countries to pressure the American government. He is putting himself in an impossible position. Obama seems to think he can break the law without repercussions because of the influence he holds within the Justice Department. During his visit to South Korea, Obama made a public statement and called United States presidency and agenda temporary. For someone who studied constitutional law, he sure doesn't know his laws. The anti-Trump agenda Obama is pushing backfired on him and played perfectly into Trump's hands and put him in a strong position to push his American first policy. Trump has been holding back on investigating Obama for the sake and honor of the American office and what it holds. Here is more on the meeting in South Korea from The Daily Caller. Former President Barack Obama seems to be feeling nostalgic for his old job, meeting with South Korean President Moon Jae-in Monday for 40 minutes. The Korea Herald reported that Moon spoke about his recent meetings with President Trump in Washington and asked Obama for his advice on how to improve that relationship. The meeting came after Obama spoke at the Asian Leadership Conference and the Fourth Congress of Indonesian Diaspora in Jakarta. There he attacked Trump's decision to withdraw from the Paris Climate Change Accord. In Paris, we came together around the most ambitious agreement in history about climate change, an agreement that even with the temporary absence of American leadership can still give our children a fighting chance, Obama said in Indonesia. The former president had said before leaving office that he appreciated his predecessor George W. Bush's silence during his tenure but also contended that he's still a citizen and that carries with it duties and obligations. This citizen status has led to him to have an active post-presidential political life. He appealed to members of Congress in May to have the courage to save Obamacare, and just a few weeks into President Trump's tenure Obama put out a statement through his spokesman attacking Trump's so-called travel ban. President Trump and Obama have had a strained relationship. Trump has accused Obama of both spying on him and obstruction of justice. Obama needs to be investigated for the crimes he has committed against America now and when he was in office. This man has created more division in this country between citizens than ever before and it is only getting worse. Just this past weekend we saw the fruits of Obama's labor when Antifa, BLM, and white nationalists clashed in Charlottesville, Virginia. The rumble turned deadly after a member of a white nationalist group drove a car into a crowd of people that ended up killing one woman. Obama is fully aware of what he is doing by continuing to fan the flames of division and creating mistrust with foreign leaders. Obama deserves to be behind bars for his treasonous acts, 
and hopefully, he will end up behind bars soon. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. Comments.